Marriage. Have you ever been married? Yes, I have. I have. How many times? Um, one. One. What do you think of marriage? If you would have asked me this question five years ago. <laughs> is, that my, when you, my, is that when you were married? Yes, my answer would have been completely different than what it is now. So what I think about marriage right now today, mm -hmm. I think marriage is beautiful if it's mutual. I think oftentimes marriages aren't mutual. Someone's getting married because the other person applied pressure. Someone's getting married because society's timeline says it's time. But when marriage is mutual and both individuals are, are joining together because they both want to be there, then I think it can be an absolute, I think it's a, it's a great partnership, one of the best um, demonstrations of teamwork ever, if it's mutual. So I think love is one of those things to where there's no medium. Either it's done wrong or it's done right. And when it's done right, it can be great. If it's done wrong, it can be detrimental for the rest of a person's life. With the, the, the trauma, the PTSD associated with being in a relationship. Do you, do you um, see yourself getting remarried? Yes, I'll, I'll do it. Um, I reach a level of maturity, a level of self-realization that that I know how to approach it. First time, I just wasn't ready. I absolutely destroyed it. I, oh. I, I, yeah, I wasn't ready. Um, yeah. So, and, and now I'm in a I'm in a different space as a man. I'm, I'm in a way way different space than I've been when I was younger. Yeah. Um, I just I don't have time for a lot of stuff, and I right. think when I was younger, I didn't understand that letting people into your life uh, it was real estate and it was valuable. Right. You know, it was like I was selling parcels. Right. <laughs> but. Right. Um, Right. But now uh, I like to keep things simple. I don't mm -hmm. like to be bothered. I don't like people. I don't like too many people to have the uh, the authority right. that seems to come with uh, allowing someone space in your life. Right. They feel like they own a piece. Mm -hmm. So I don't like that. And I'm the type of person who should be married. I think because it keeps me helps to keep me focused. Right. Uh, being a player is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, I think marriage, you know, it, it inspires me. It's, I need somebody to constantly bounce questions off of any time of the night. Right, <laughs> you know? right. I need that, you know. I, I need, because I, I, can, I can, I was having a conversation about, you know, some of the things that I did. You know, I, I, did, I made a lot of mistakes that had I had someone to ask about right. a woman's from a woman's perspective, like right. the wife I have. You know, a lot of things wouldn't have been done. A lot of people got over on things that they would not have gotten over on if I had had the other perspective. Right. But right. um, so poem. Okay. I'm told a bikini ain't a bikini unless you can pull it through a wedding ring. And I ain't never been excited about trading one for the other until I saw you in yours. And I was floored like laying in sand as I glanced from your legs to your hips to your eyes and looked immediately to your left as if I thought I could guess your ring size. And seriously, I was surprised to find that your ring finger was bare. I started thinking, I don't know where this woman is from, but apparently they ain't got no real men living there. And Lord knows I've seen swimwear. And with legs like those, yours just ain't fair. And I ain't into hating on nobody, but when the body is yours, I just can't share. See, when it's right, you hit it and quit it. But when it's perfect, you hit it and live it. And, and get with rings and tennis bracelets, go shopping for shoes and take cruise vacations. Even your smile is a call to action. So when I say your place of mine, I'm speaking real estate transactions. You haul trucks and packing and move it so quick that your neighbors nor your mailman even get a gist of what happened and add traveling to give you excuses for Carol's daughter, her appointments and waxing. Imagine dashing the fashion shows and laying on the beach with a scrabble board. See, life is for the living, so I don't care about the <clears throat> relationships you had before. You have to know this is majestic. If you're tired of your favorite skirt, let's address it. We can, we can even discuss our financial future until you feel truly vested. I, I want to be domesticated like ordering Netflix on a PlayStation and intrigue you with my patience and promise to never leave you wait and see this is a swimsuit issue. I just met you and I already miss you, but I recognize opportunity is not. So how could I not stop, try to open up my heart and at least get to stand in the windows of your soul until you give me permission to climb through because the sunrise ain't never been breathtaking until I finally saw the sunrise behind you. We connect like the dots. We imperfectly interlock like two asymmetrical cardboard structures imperfectly cut from a full colored illustration of euphoria. In other words, we are puzzle pieces. 
our contour lines are perfectly aligned. We're conjoined like eight joints, finger fucking to a farmer's grip. We vibe like a five man band, all band together by the love of the instrument. We interact like electrons and neutrons with chemical bond. We hold conversations in the palms of our mouths and we ensure that we chew on every word at least 42 times before we swallow. That's how we ensure the discussion is digestible. We bask in our contrast, which means we've learned to appreciate our differences. See, ever since day one, we could sense that we, had, we didn't have much in common, but we knew that we had common senses. Not common sense, we had common senses. Like we can both recognize the taste of love and knew the taste of lust was not that bitter as long as you indulge responsibly. The nerve endings in our fingertips exude electricity, so every touch is hair-raising, like a rabbit form. We can both detect the stench of envy from miles away and both have allergic reactions to gossip. So ever since we've been together, it's been a drill to pop Benadryl. We kiss like oral sex. Every time she allows me to suck the pearl of her tongue, our hearts orgasm. Love begins to run down her thighs. Our pride erects. We both give birth to ecstasy simultaneously like Siamese twins. See, there's nothing that makes me feel like more of a man than being man enough to be mushy. Her eyes are the first reason I ever cried. Tears of joy. Her walk is like a dance routine a cappella. This world is her dance floor. My eyes are her ballroom. If I die today, the core in the solution would probably be that I overdosed on too many thoughts of our future. Forensics would find traces of her name in the roof of my mouth because she's all that I talk about. If I could, I would dip my tonsils in permanent ink, draw an illustration of her face in the back of my throat. So when I spoke, you could see what I'm so crazy about. Matter of fact, what I'm psycho about. See, I'm psycho about her, but I'm psychopath without her. And when I'm sick of being lonely, her hugs are my medicine cabinet. Her arms are like willow branches from heaven. She's a gift, gift wrapped in melanin skin. <laughs> That's just a, hey, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. This is just reciting a poem to you. This is huge to me. This this is huge to me, and I, I know mutual, how you all are. respect. I know how you all are. I know if you're anything like me, and I would venture to say compliments may make you feel awkward, but <laughs> but I, I, I got to take this opportunity to say, I remember sending you a message on Twitter. Somebody gave me your CDs back in 2011, and I listened to these CDs until I became these CDs, and I sent you a message on Twitter, and I asked you, I said, hey, I've been listening to these CDs, and I feel like I'm adopting your mannerisms, and what you told me, you said, if imitation is not your intent, at some point, it will go away. And I never, ever, ever forgot that. And now I'm sitting right here next to you doing a poem. So this is huge to me, man. Yo, I appreciate I, you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And keep in mind, I invited him here. So <laughs> let's, let's have that perspective. Yeah. All right. Peace, y'all.